Hello and welcome to today's videos on how to create virtual machine inside Hapa V 2016. So to create a virtual machine you have to open the Hapa manager. Let's open the Hapa manager. Uh, click on tools. Select Hapa manager. And inside Hapa manager you will find your computer where you install Hapa V. And uh, you can create the new virtual machine. Just right click on it and select new and then select virtual machine. You can also use the accent pen. Uh, we have options for new. Just click on it select virtual machine this will open our one wizard you can create the virtual machine by using new virtual machine wizard so now before you begin page click on next on the specify name and location page type an appropriate name the name provides you with a way to identify your virtual machine for example you might use the name that identifies the type of server you want to configure on this virtual machine for example web server or you might use a name that identifies the guest operating system like 2k12 r2 that means we want to install Windows Server 2012 R2 on this virtual machine. Please note that the by default the new VM will be stored under C, Program Data, Microsoft, Windows and Hyper-V. So if you want to store the new VM in a different directory, you can select the checkbox and enter new location or you can manually select the location by clicking on browse. But we are happy with the default location process demonstration and then click on next to continue. Select the virtual machine generation in a next virtual machine visa screen and by default it will be a generation 1. You can also select generation 2 which will give the additional features like iSCSI and Pixie boot and secure boot so on. But there is a restriction if you choose uh, generation 2 virtual machines. You can only install Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 or Windows Server 2016 technical preview 4. But with only support 64-bit guest operating system. So for this demonstration, I'm going to select generation one and then clicking on our next. One more thing, which uh, I forgot to mention on a specified generation page, ID drives and legacy network adapters support is only available in generation one VM. So if you need ID or legacy NIC support, you must stay with generation one VM. Click on next and here we can specify the uh, memory which you want to assign to this virtual machine. So I just happy with uh, 1 GB. You can also specify the dynamic memory for this virtual machine. But right now we are not discussing about dynamic memory. In a future videos we will see what is the dynamic memory and what is the startup memory and so on. Click on next. On the configure networking page, uh, connect the virtual machine to the switch you created when you install Hypo-V. And we have a external SW, external switches there. Click on next. On the connect virtual hard disk page, you can select this uh, virtual hard drive for this VM. By default option selected is create a new virtual disk for uh, this virtual machine. If you have an existing virtual hard drive, you can select this checkbox and just browse the location where you store your virtual hard disk. If you want to attach a hard disk later to this virtual machine, that time you can select the third box. We are going with the first box, uh, create a new virtual hard drive. This is the name of this virtual hard drive, 2K12R2-VHDX. And this is the by default location where Hypo-V will store this virtual hard drive. This is the size. You can see the maximum size is 64 terabyte. We are going to use the default size and then just click on next. Now select the installation options. By default, uh, selected option says install an operating system later. You can select install operating system from the bootable CD DVD ROM. And uh, you can also use the physical CD DVD drive of your physical VM. You can also browse the ISO image. If you want to use install operating system from bootable floppy drive, that time you can select this box. And if you want to use network based installation that time you can select this box right now we are not going to install uh, any os inside this virtual machine that's why i'm going to, to select install an operating system later click on next the summary page provides the machine configuration details what is the name generation memory network hard disk and with the information about the operating system installation options click on finish to create the new virtual machine and that's it the new virtual machine is created successfully. So let's open my computer. Click on Windows Explorer. Click on this PC. Open C drive. Click on View. Click on Options and select Change Folder in Search Options. Click on View tab and select Hidden Files and Folders and Drives as well as Uncheck Hide Extension for Known File System as well as Uncheck Hide Protected Operating System File. Click on Yes. Click on apply, click on OK. Now open program data, Microsoft, Windows, Hypo-V, 
and this is the our virtual machine to get rid of r2 this is the virtual hard drive which we created the size of hard drive is by default 4 mb because we created a dynamically expanding hard drive and this is the information about our virtual machine as we are seeing as uh, one kind of numbers is there and this is a brief overview information about our virtual machine so by default this is the location where uh, hyper-v is going to store this our virtual machine so that's it for this demonstration in the next video we will see how to install guest operating system inside the hyper-v virtual machine thanks for watching this video